This is China's largest border city, Dandong. Located in the country's northeast, it is famous for bordering the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. But this city is even more known for one river. This is the Yarou River, China's border with the DPRK. Tranquil as it is now throughout the year, it actually bore witness to fierce shellfire seven decades ago. As a boundary river, the Yarou River is jointly owned, managed, and used by China and the DPRK. The uses include navigation, fishing, and use of water. Today, sitting along the Yarrow River, one could get a close look at people's life of both countries. Peaceful as it is, the river actually witnessed bombing by U.S. forces during the Korean War. It was also where 2.9 million Chinese people's volunteers crossed the border and joined the war to safeguard national security and assist the DPRK against foreign aggression. This is the famous broken bridge, a must for visitors. But why was the bridge broken in the first place? Built in 1911, the broken bridge is the first bridge ever built over the Yarrow River. Together with other bridges, it served as a way for Chinese people's volunteers to cross the river and transport combat supplies during the Korean War. However, the bridge was bombed by the U.S. Air Force. The damage has been left as it was, giving the bridge the name Broken Bridge. <laughs> Several kilometers upstream from the Broken Bridge, there is another damaged bridge, nicknamed the Floating Bridge. It too used to serve as a transport line during the Korean War. Close to the Yarrow River lies the Memorial Hall of the War to Resist U.S. Aggression and Aid Korea. First established in 1958, it is the only museum in China that exhibits the complete history of China's participation in the Korean War. These two numbers just reveal the scale of China's participation and sacrifice in the war. In fact, 2.9 million Chinese people's volunteers were sent to fight in the Korean Peninsula, and nearly 200,000 of them lost their lives. The Memorial Hall has over 1,600 items on display. The use of modern technology has brought visitors into graphic war scenes. Uh, Seventy years on since the Korean War broke out in 1950, today's Dandong is a peaceful and prosperous city, and the Yarrow River has become one of the most popular tourist spots on China's border. But the Broken Bridge, the Floating Bridge, and the Memorial Hall, among others, serve to remind that peace comes at a cost, and those who have lost their lives for today's life shall never be forgotten. I'm Tony Chang with Xinhua News Agency. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.